And Mars, let's start with the BOK, just given the fact that it just happened a few minutes ago. Uh, it's a pause for a second time. Is the BOK really done, you think, in this tightening cycle, or are they going to still leave the door open maybe for a possible rate hike in the near future? I think everybody is keeping their door open just in case the Federal Reserve have got a lot more to do themselves. And, of course, that makes the, the next decision from the FOMC important for everybody, not just for, for U.S. markets, but for the whole world. And you, you can see that, in general, Asia was, was reasonably quick. Um, Korea, Indonesia, Singapore, they were relatively fast to start tightening their policy. So all of them are much closer to the end than the other parts of the world. So certainly they're in a very good position to maintain that pause if they want to. If the Fed doesn't get more aggressive, it gives the Bank of Korea cover. The currency is pretty stable. Things are starting to pick up and, and they'll probably start to think, yes, uh, we can afford to, to stay on the, on the pause path. But they will be watching over their shoulder very closely at what the Fed does, as will all central banks, because really it was the aggressive Fed tightening last year that pushed other central banks to do something similar themselves. So yes, this week's CPI number is not just about what it means for Jerome Powell and his friends, but it's what it means for the whole world, for central bank policy making mm -hmm. right across the board.